For the first time, scientists have sequenced a complete DNA set from an ancient Egyptian man. This is also the oldest sequence in this region, dating back to when the pyramids were constructed. The DNA, which is more than 4,000 years old, is the first genetic evidence of people moving into Egypt and mixing with the local population at that time. The DNA belonged to a man that may have lived into his 60s, which is surprising for that time. That's like someone living into their 80s today. By analyzing his skull, vertebrae, and ankles, Researchers could tell that he spent a lot of time leaning forward with his hands out and squatting on his ankles, all evidence pointing to that he was probably a pottery worker. And he was probably a pretty well-regarded potter. He was buried in a pottery vessel in a rock-cut-out tomb, which is usually reserved for people of an upper class, not your typical laborer. But this storage probably helped preserve the DNA for thousands of years. Analyzing DNA from the man's dental tissue, scientists found that about 80% of his ancestry was linked to North Africa, which means it was probably from a local population. But the other 20% showed relations to people in ancient Mesopotamia, or modern-day Iraq, Iran, and Jordan. We knew there was some sharing of culture back then. We found similar animal farming practices and writing systems. And now we know a little bit more about the population movements and genetics and maybe even love. Or at least a hookup.